My name is Lachlan Turner and I'll be doing my creative arts assessment this semester on music, visual arts and dance. First hurdle with doing my creative arts project was music. I wasn't really sure what instrument to use but I've always been fond of the ukulele. Now the ukulele had one first initial problem. I didn't know how to tune the ukulele. So my first video is going to discuss and describe how I have tuned the ukulele to the best of my abilities. After not knowing how to tune a ukulele myself, I then went to YouTube to find someone who better knew how to tune a ukulele. Through watching copious amounts of YouTube videos about being able to tune my ukulele, I have been helped by certain phone software to be able to correctly tune my ukulele to play the four notes of G, C, E, and A. And as you will note now, it is very different from when I originally played and strummed my ukulele at the very beginning of this video. So now I will play it again. And it sounds much more in tune than it did before. The first thing I noted when I had to choose a song to be able to play and learn was that I had no musical knowledge of any of the notes that I was playing on my ukulele. So I went to the only song that I figured I'd be able to understand because my musical knowledge is not very good and is lacking, which is why I chose to do Smoke on the Water, so I will be learning the chords to that soon. With help from a better musically minded friend, my sister, she was able to teach me that there are frets involved with the ukulele, so there is fret 1 through 12. Mm -hmm. Hold on, why your fingers look like that? As you just heard, music for me was very difficult because I wasn't really able to use my fingers the way I really wanted to whilst playing the notes. Moreno et al believes that music is just about expressing yourself and having fun with what you're doing rather than just playing to please others. Atkinson and Robson believe that music is about enhancing one's well-being and throughout this project I was really able to increase my self well-being and be able to better perform the music. Throughout school I often struggled with music because I had no one really to teach me until my sister came along and she was able to guide me and aid me through the things that I needed help with. I have also found that pre-service teachers like myself are able to find resources such as YouTube videos to really be able to help in teaching the students of today if and if they lack musical knowledge themselves. Visual arts. Now visual arts for me is a tricky one because all through my life I've drawn stick figures because I've felt that I have no talent in visual arts. However, after going in the classroom I've learned that there are many tutorials to help teachers to be able to teach kids better at drawing. There are tutorials and videos about certain characters drawing. For instance, DC characters. But I'm gonna try something even more difficult for myself, to challenge myself to be able to draw something that I, I deem worthy. This is a painting of my eyeball that was taken when I was 18 and it holds intrinsic value to me, which is why I chose to do it for my art project. Looking back on why I chose the art project of my eyeball, I can really see that why I chose it was because of my love for science. I've always loved science and the way that the human body is and how it reacts to certain things. Since eyeballs react to light and the sensitivity of light, I was able to create a really cool picture by using the fact that my eye has different colours and different tones. I was constantly using lines that always directed at the centre to try and create a better shape so it looks more like an eyeball leading towards the iris. I really enjoyed learning about the different techniques that go into visual art. Techniques such as just learning how to colour properly. For instance, when I was in primary school and high school, I just kind of scratched the paper when it came to colouring. But after reading Jacob's Big Arts text, I was able to better understand the tools that make art great. Some of these tools I tried to enact into my drawing, but they didn't go very well as you might notice. One really big issue that I found after I'd finished my product was that I wasn't really able to do a circle the way I really wanted to and even now after doing more circles since then I still struggled and I'm unable to draw a perfect circle. Jane's 2013 believes that by integrating other KLAs into visual arts the artist is able to better express themselves with greater knowledge of how art will reflect their teaching in the classroom. I've also found out that teaching arts in the classroom was going to be tricky for me in the future as I am still 
acquiring skills that I need to be able to effectively teach arts in the primary classroom. Now for some dance. Finally, I thought this one would be really simple for me as I have prior dance knowledge. However, I quickly found out that dance is going to be a very tricky part of this assessment to be able to do. I quickly learned that all the classes that were on during COVID were already booked out, so I needed to find a substitute that would be able to get me through this conundrum that I had. I found YouTube as a way to be able to express myself without being judged by others, because as an adult, I found that I am constantly feeling the judgment of others. After practicing, I've been struggling multiple times with certain moves, so I've actually brought in an expert to be able to help me to be able to better my dancing skills. With the help of my teacher and my mother, I was able to better increase my dancing skills to a level that was able to actually keep up with the Just Dance video of, that I was watching. The dance that I chose was Footloose because it holds value to me for that. I've always grown up with movies like Footloose and dances that I've really enjoyed include the ending song Footloose and the song Fake ID. Naaman2015 believes that dance and yoga are able to improve brain function of children. This means that students are going to be more energetic and more enthusiastic about their learning in the classroom. Dance is also a really good way for students to be able to understand how their body moves it will benefit them not only in the classroom but also in sports. Even after completing the dance, the music and the visual arts, I'm still unable to confidently say that I have been able to achieve standard two of knowing the content and how to teach it. I feel that I still have a long way to go before I'm able to efficiently and correctly be able to teach this properly in a classroom. However, for standard six, I believe that I have engaged with professional learning and engaged in improving my own practice, which is standard 6.2, for the fact that I've gone out and actually understood and learnt about different aspects that go into the entire arts program.